the Atacama Desert, a place seemingly straight out of a science fiction movie with its striking red hues and surreal landscape, holds the secret to one of the most intriguing mysteries from Chile's past. What could this desert tell us about humanity's origins? Join us as we uncover the astonishing skeletal discoveries made in Chile that have rewritten history books and left scientists baffled. Welcome to my channel, Chile, a country renowned for its dramatic landscapes. From the rugged Atacama Desert to the towering Andes Mountains, has always held a special place in the hearts of adventurers and history buffs alike. But Chile is not just about breathtaking vistas. It's a land where ancient secrets slumber beneath the earth, waiting to be unearthed. The country's unique geography, which ranges from the hyperarid Atacama to the high Andes, has preserved mysteries few other places can match. And it's these mysteries that have led to some truly astonishing skeletal discoveries. Picture this. Year 2003, scientists were excavating at the site of La Noria, in the heart of the Atacama Desert, when they came across something so peculiar, it seemed almost otherworldly. Initially, it appeared to be a small humanoid skeleton, no bigger than six inches, as if someone had shrunk a person down to the size of a doll. The internet exploded with theories ranging from alien visitors to government experiments. But as more tests were conducted, a different story began to emerge. DNA analysis revealed a shocking truth. This miniaturized skeleton was not of extraterrestrial origin, but rather a human fetus affected by a multitude of rare genetic mutations. It seems this creature was not an alien, but a product of unique genetic anomalies. This brings us to a broader point about the power of scientific inquiry. In our eagerness to explain the unknown, we often turn to sensationalism and conspiracy theories. But through rigorous testing and research, we can separate fact from fiction, gaining a deeper understanding of the world around us. This discovery also highlights the incredible adaptability and resilience of the human body, even in the face of significant genetic mutations. But our journey through Chile's skeletal secrets doesn't end there. Let's travel back even further to approximately 5050 BC. These mummies weren't created naturally. Instead, the Chinchoro carefully removed internal organs, then reconstructed the body using materials like clay and animal bones. They would then paint these reconstructed mummies in vibrant reds and blacks, transforming them into some of the oldest known artificial mummies anywhere in the world. What makes the Chinchoro mummies so remarkable is their age. They predate the famous Egyptian mummies by several hundred years. This discovery revolutionized our understanding of ancient burial practices, showing that complex mummification was not limited to a single culture. It also gives us a glimpse into the rich history and traditions of Chile's indigenous peoples, who sadly are often overlooked in mainstream narratives. Each mummy tells a story, a story of a unique individual who lived thousands of years ago, complete with their own hopes, dreams, and place in society. To learn more about these fascinating mummies, check out our dedicated video on the Chinchoro people. Now let us shift our focus to a chilling tale from the high peaks of Chile S. Andes Mountains. Picture a group of climbers scaling the treacherous slopes of Cerro El Plomo near Santiago when suddenly they stumble upon something that sends shivers down their spines. Nestled amidst the rocky terrain, they find the frozen remains of a small body, a body that appears to have been deliberately left behind centuries ago. As they carefully examine this grim discovery, they realize they have uncovered the mummified remains of a young Inca child. This is no ordinary find. This is the so-called Plomo mummy, a tragic victim of a long-forgotten ritual sacrifice. But why would an ancient civilization offer up their children in such a brutal manner? The answer lies in the customs of the Inca Empire. The practice of sacrificing children in the Andes region during the pre-Hispanic era may seem horrifying to us today, but it was a significant part of their religious beliefs. The Inca believed that the gods demanded the purest of offerings, and what could be purer than the heart of an innocent child? The ritual, known as Capacoca, involved the sacrifice of both children and adults, though children were preferred due to their perceived purity. The harsh environment of the mountains played a role in preserving this particular mummy. 
The freezing temperatures and high altitude created an inhospitable environment for bacteria and insects, leading to the remarkably well-preserved state of the child's body. This includes his braided hair, still tied with a leather thong, and the remnants of his ceremonial tunic adorned with the image of a condor, a sacred animal in Inca mythology. He was also buried with grave goods, including a wooden baton, suggesting his status as a member of the Inca nobility. The discovery of the Plomo mummy provides a haunting glimpse into the rituals and beliefs of one of the most enigmatic civilizations in history. While the practice of human sacrifice may be disturbing to modern sensibilities, it's crucial to understand it within the context of the Inca worldview. Their actions, however brutal they may seem to us, were driven by a deep-rooted religious fervor and a desire to honor their gods. And our exploration of Chile's skeletal secrets doesn't end with the mummies. Chile is home to a wealth of fossils that shed light on the country's prehistoric inhabitants. Take, for example, the whale skeletons found in the caves on Madre de Dios Island. These majestic creatures, which once swam in the ancient seas, are now silent witnesses to the changing times. Their fossilized remains serving as a reminder of the dynamic history of life on Earth. By studying these fossils, scientists can piece together the evolutionary history of whales and gain insight into the ecological changes that have shaped Chile's coastline over the millennia. Another fascinating site is the Mylodon Cave in Patagonia. This subterranean labyrinth is filled with the bones of not only prehistoric animals like giant sloths and prehistoric horses, but also human remains. This discovery suggests that early humans hunted these creatures, giving us a glimpse into the daily life and survival strategies of our ancestors. It also raises questions about the extinction of these magnificent beasts and the role humans may have played in their demise. As we conclude our journey through Chile's extraordinary skeletal discoveries, we're left with a sense of awe and wonder. From the bizarre tale of the Atacama alien skeleton to the haunting legacy of the Plomo mummy, each discovery has challenged our understanding of history and the world around us. But perhaps the most valuable lesson we've learned is the importance of keeping an open mind. What may initially appear bizarre or perplexing can often lead to groundbreaking discoveries and a deeper appreciation for the complexities of our planet and its inhabitants. So the next time you encounter something that defies explanation, Remember the skeletal secrets of Chile and embrace the unknown as an opportunity for discovery and learning. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to catch more incredible journeys into history. Dive deeper into the mysteries of the past and uncover more historical tales that will leave you in awe. Do want to forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with those who might appreciate these amazing discoveries. And that's all for this time. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep discovering.